Hi guys, I'm Pearl and welcome on my French story. So every week you will find here on this channel a new video to help you improve your French, get ready for your French exams and basically get better grades in French. This week I'm talking about a very important skill how to ask questions in French. Because it can be a real struggle for beginners, but also for more advanced learners. So I decided to go through all you need to know about questions. So grab a pen and a notebook and let's get started. So you really need to be aware that there are two types of questions in any languages. You have yes, no questions when you need to answer by yes or no. And you have open questions that requires more elaborate answers. In this video, I'm going to start with yes, no questions. Let's go. In French, there are three ways to ask yes, no questions. So the first one is to use the inversion method. So it means that you invert the subject and the verb. Basically, it just means that you start your question with a verb. For example, parlez vous français. Parlez vous français. So here, I started the question with a verb and then the subject. So the second method is to use the expression est-ce que. So you start your question with est-ce que and then you have your subject and finally your verb. For example, est-ce que tu parles français? Est-ce que tu parles français? And finally, you can ask a yes no question just by using rising intonations. So this one is the simplest way to ask yes, no questions because you just use a statement. So for example, if I say, vous parlez français, it means you speak French. It's just a statement. But if I change my intonation and say, vous parlez français, so it's a rising intonation. Now it's not a statement anymore. It's a question. So in order to form an open question, you need an interrogative word, such as pourquoi, comment, ou, combien. So when you use those interrogative words, you are going to start with them in the question. Then you can have a subject and a verb. For example, pourquoi tu aimes Paris? Pourquoi tu aimes Paris? Or you can have a verb and then a subject. Pourquoi aimes-tu Paris? And then you can also use the expression est-ce que plus the subject and the verb. For example, pourquoi est-ce que tu aimes Paris? Pourquoi est-ce que tu aimes Paris? So in French, what has different translations? So the first one is que. So when you use que, after that, you can have a verb and then the subject. For example, que fais-tu? Que fais-tu? Or you can use after que the expression est-ce que? For example, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? So here you notice that the E of que disappeared because it was followed by a vowel, so it became an apostrophe. So remember that. What can also be translated by quoi? And I love quoi because it's a little bit different. So you are not going to start your question with quoi, you're going to finish your question with quoi. For example, tu fais quoi? Tu fais quoi? I love this one. And also, if you want to say what, what, you can just use quoi by itself. Quoi? Quoi? So this one is really, really, really easy. So to translate what, you can also use quel. 
And Kel is a little bit tricky because you have different spellings depending on feminine, masculine, plural, singular. Also, make sure that you pronounce them the exact same way. It's Kel, 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 Kel. So please don't try to pronounce the S's. We're not hearing them. So guys, I really hope this video was useful. If you still have any questions, make sure you comment in the comment section box down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss anything. That's it for me and I see you very soon for another video. Salut!